G'day guys and welcome to a What's Next Tech Repair. So today what we're going to be repairing is this Sony 16-50 OSS E-mount lens. The common problem that is with these is that people drop them and they break the mechanism inside the lens. So it stops it from working. So as you can see, turn it on, it comes up with cannot recognize the lens, attach it properly. The actual mechanism in this lens is broken fully and you can pull it right down. So we need to obviously fix that. So I'm going to get inside the lens and fix the offending part now. Okay, so this is the offending part here. It's a little ring inside the actual camera and what it does is it it holds it all in place and spins with the mechanism, stops it from going too far and then helps it wind back to the exact position that it needs to. Now on this one that I bought, this one I bought on eBay it was roughly four dollars Australian or something along those lines. Focus my hand. Don't focus at all. Come on. Okay, apparently it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Okay, so I bought this for I think it was six dollars on eBay as a broken lens. Uh, the person had taken it apart before; it was missing a couple of screws, um, and it, you know I just wanted to see if I could repair it. Now, after doing some research and that, I found that these are the offending ring that stops the problem. As you can see here, there's some clips, and they're broken off on every single part, and they're the guides that help it run around the the parts in the lens. So you know, let, let's let's fix that now. Now we get ourselves a screwdriver, currently at the moment I'm using a PHO bit and that should undo every screw that's in this as I've taken it apart before obviously to learn before I did it on video so there should be four screws here on the back of the thing, I've only got the two I've already removed the other two Come on. Four. Just be careful when you do it. There's a ribbon cable attached to here, and you're going to lift the lid that direction because of it. Now, I usually pull it down a little bit here. There's a tiny little ribbon cable clip just close to the edge of the camera. You can unclip that. and then gently get these ribbon cable out and that should dissipate, well sorry, come apart from there. And as you can see here we've got four other major components. You've got the motor, you've got these one, two, three, four screws that hold the actual barrel from the middle of the camera to the actual um, body side of the lens. As you can see here you've got the, the lens part that moves away and that helps obviously do the zooming and so on and so forth and that's the part underneath here, the ring, that's no longer attached to that part there, which it should be. So what we're going to do is fix that now. So we're going to need to remove the one, two, three, four screws, and these three ribbon cables need to come undone and the motherboard taken out. So I'll quickly do that. Okay, so next job on the list is down in here, if I can get the light to shine on that, there is actually a, a couple of grooves shining in and beyond in there. So I'll just get a bit of a LED light on so that hopefully you guys can see. So as you can see down in there, you can see those grooves. Those grooves have got three little pins, as you can see, the three grooves. And those three little pins, we need to detach those from the, the housing. And it's quite a simple, easy thing to detach. You just need to put a bit of pressure, find one of the, the guides, put a bit of pressure on the outside of that, and pull on the inside barrel of the lens. Do the same on the three points. 
And don't worry, you're not going to break it. It feels that way the first time you do it, but you get more confident the more you do it. And then boom, before you know it, you're apart. So this is the offending ring that I was talking about. This ribbon cable has a bit of sticky on it. Be really careful when you pull that one off. And that's the offending ring. So because it's not actually connected to the actual barrel and the system of this, the lens just wobbles about and goes, goes and does what it wants to do. So what we need to do is try to get this to zoom like it does. So that looks like the way to do it, is you need to get in and try to move that motor part like I did a little bit. Then obviously we're going to get to a certain point where that now comes off. Where that now comes off, this should reattach on. I'm going to disconnect the motor from here because it probably needs to be disconnected. As I said, I'm learning at the same time as you guys, so I'm sorry if I... I'm getting a bit wrong here, but I'm just going to disconnect the motor to make it easier. There's also a little screw and metal plate holding the ribbon cable down here. Make sure you disconnect that so that you don't damage the old ribbon cable. Alright, motor off. Alright, so now that falls down and it spins around. And as you can see it stops at certain points. That'll allow us to put the mechanism back in like it should. And that'll stop the mechanism at the point that it needs to be stopped and start it again at the other point. So, this is what's going to make our lens work. As you can see with this one here, it would just come off. It wouldn't hold on anymore. So as soon as you zoomed it, it would immediately just fall apart. I tried, as I said, super gluing the broken parts that were rattling around inside the lens, but that did not work. So. I gave up on that idea and had to try a different one. Alright. So just confirm as well that the part that you're putting down is the bit where the motor attaches so that obviously we can zoom it both directions. So that's the correct position all this lens bit. Now this bit's tricky and not a lot of fun. Uh, you've got to line up these pins and that pins with the inside and the outside of it and it, it's it's not a lot of fun. It's a lot of trial um, and error but there's only one way that it can go so I suppose that's the the bonus of this is that with it only going the one way and I've accidentally pulled that out when I probably shouldn't have need to pull that out of there. That needs to fold back in and go back in. Okay, so I'm going to do the harder bit first which is this inside part. I hate doing this. The first time I did it, it took me an hour to learn just exactly which grooves were the ones that worked properly for it. Because each ones don't work exactly the same and oh that's right okay so to line the barrel back up you need to pull the barrel up so that the these couple of little knobs are together now inside this ring I don't know if you can see 
I am trying my best to get that to focus. Uh, there's two grooves inside here. And those two grooves are going to have to correspond with each of the two grooves on the actual inside of this lens piece. So, this is why I said I hate doing this bit, is because it is not fun whatsoever. correct. Well, that was not a lot of fun. I do have to say, I'm just going to get a lens cleaning cloth. So we can clean the elements here as we dirty them. The last thing you want to do is have to pull this back apart because it is not fun, let me tell you. Alright, I don't know about you. Oh, I've gone and put a fingerprint straight on it. It's looking pretty good. I haven't put any dust or anything on that bit of glass, so we're all good there. Now, this needs to all slot together in here, and it's, mm, again, not fun. <laughs> So, okay, so just so you can see here again, there's grooves for this here. There's also grooves for the the center bit that spins, and you need to line them up all together. So you've got a groove on the middle lines up with the corresponding pins that are here at the back of the actual barrel system. Let's see if we can get some focus again. Come on. Seriously, it's not hard. Focus on my hand and you should be right. There we go. So these pins at the back here need to correspond with the lines inside this part of the barrel and then these pins here need to correspond with these pins on the inside of the barrel um, as I said to you it's a uh, it's not fun playing line up with all of these but once you get it right it should just all slot together <laughs> Okay, so the center bit's going in now. Hopefully we don't fall out. No, I got it. There we go. So now that goes back together like that. Oh my god, I hope you saw that, because I probably won't be able to do that again. I'm very sorry. <laughs> if you missed it, just rewind and try again, because that is not coming out in a hurry. Or at least I hope not. Now, I need to somehow get this... click in so that it doesn't just come off like that. Obviously we need it on the part where it's meant to be. Just the new one, then it's the broken one. The new one's here. That's where we're at at the moment. 
I think I'm going to need to convince this to come back out a bit again so that I can slide that ring on. So while that's there like that, I think this is when we put this on So because those pins aren't hanging out the back here. So... Where are those tabs? They're there. No, that's not the right position. And these line back up, this should fall back into place like before. Except now those bits now slide up and in and this actual mirror hole system is now stuck together with the actual tabs and everything on here. Right, so we got it right. Again, I hope you saw <laughs> what I did. I'm very sorry, but this is another one of those. I don't really want to have to continue to open this up job. Next on the list, I think we could probably put this motherboard in pretty easily. So why don't we do that? Let's pop that back down so we can get it out of the way. And we tuck it up and in. Put that. There's a couple of ribbon cables in. Make sure you push them in nice and tight. You don't want to have to pull it apart again because there's an, an issue in your connection. It's obviously the last thing you want. <laughs> 